Hey, how the hell's it going? Hope you're doing well. I'm doing all right. All right. Just got home from work literally just a couple minutes ago. Stopped at the store to get Kiwi some uh, minty bones and some of the Rachel Ray's Nutrish wet food. And I picked up a few packs of cards while I was there. What, what the hell? Payday. That was like, it's like my spending for the two weeks. I get paid every two weeks. So that was my spending. I, I got a couple of packs of cards. The cheap, just hammer packs. The rest of the, the money that I have, uh, that I kept out cash, which isn't very much. Uh, so most of my paycheck, it's deposited. And then when I get home, I pay bills, which is what I've already got. Uh... I hate this time of year, though. I'll be honest with you. I hate this time of year. I love being a homeowner, but I hate property taxes. It, I personally think it's like the biggest crock. Okay. You buy the house. Okay, but, but technically, it, it's like you don't own the land that your house is on. you got to maintain it and take care of it, but you have to pay property taxes on it. And then the amount of the property taxes you pay on the land or the acreage that your house sits on is based on the value of your house. How does that make any sense whatsoever? Shouldn't the property taxes you pay on the land that your house is sitting on be based on the, the value of the land itself, not the structure? I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. That's just, that's that's how I always kind of seen it. And even if that's not really how it is, I like looking at it that way because then I can bitch about it a little bit. I mean, let's be honest. We pay taxes on everything. Everything. Why do we have to pay taxes on our house that we paid for? You know? I'll tell you why. I I'll tell you exactly why. Well, because that's the way that the county gets their tax dollars, right? Because that's who you pay to. You pay it to the county auditor, right? When you make up the check or the county treasurer or whatever. Yeah. Because, you know, the federal, the federal taxes you, you pay. State taxes you pay. Local income taxes you pay. And then, of course, the state also gets taxes on everything you buy. Outside of food. So the county feels kind of left out. You know, even the school gets tax dollars, which I don't complain about. You know, I think schools are are a good place for tax dollars to go. I want, you know, future generations to be bright and, and hopefully not make the same mistakes as, you know, the past has shown us. But, you know what, just property taxes. I, I, I just don't know. And the main reason why I bitch about it is just because I hate having to pay that. Because I pay it in two parts. Because if I, if I try to pay it all at right at the beginning of the year, then that'll literally, I mean, that'll wipe out like one of my paychecks. And then I won't be able to pay my other bills for the month. So I pay it, you know, the first half and the second half. And then I always, I, it, never, it always slips my mind until I, it comes in the mail that, oh yeah, I'm going to have to pay that here soon. So... Yeah, between between this check and my next check, I'll pay my property taxes and try to you know try to make ends meet. I think it won't be difficult. I'll, I'll get by with paying the you know the Parents Plus loan and then my my mortgage payment and everything, uh, and my utilities. I think my utilities because my next check after that I won't get until after my utility bills are due. So. So you know what that means? That means this weekend I'm going to have to bust butt a little bit. And besides just cleaning the house, I'm going to have to sit down, get some stuff listed. i got some Funko Pops I can list. I've got action figures I can list. So keep your eyes out on my Macari and eBay in particular. I might even go through, pull out some cards that I kind of threw down in the filing cabinet and thought I'd hold on to for a little while. Maybe I'll pull out some rookie cards from up on eBay you know, as an auction, I'll start them out at like a dollar ninety nine or something. If they go for dollar ninety nine, well, then they go for dollar ninety nine. But hey, you know, I'm not real knowledgeable about sports cards. I openly admit that. So 
I might throw one up there and it might go for five or ten bucks. I don't know. But that's what we're going to do. But right now what we're going to do is we're going to open up one of these packs. I got a 30 card value pack of Don Russ basketball. I'm not exactly sure what year it is because they always put the big ass sticker right over the part that tells you. And then I've got a 2021-22 Chronicles. You know how much I love these Chronicles packs. Uh, basketball. And then of course... I couldn't pass up 2023 Prestige Football. You guys know I love my Prestige Football. We'll save that for later. Let's do, uh, let's do, uh, let's just do the Chronicles in this video. Save the bigger 30 card packs for later. I'm going to go down and, and, uh, probably lay in bed and watch the debate. I'm not real political, but, you know, it, it's probably a good thing to, you know, see... See what's what, who's who, and uh, you know, it's kind of you're kind of choosing the lesser of two evils. Yeah, I mean, you can, and and don't and I don't necessarily gear that towards one or the other. I pretty much say that every presidential election, when it comes to voting for a president, because let's be honest, let's be honest. You know, the power of the people only goes so far. Right, honestly, when somebody gets in office, they don't necessarily go by everything they say they're going to do. We have had people in the past that have, and we've had people in the past that haven't. So, is what it is. All right, here we go. We have got, we've got a rookie card. This is Panini Threads. I don't know why they why why paint any threads when it doesn't have any it, it doesn't have I'm mean, thinking threads is like like their uniform right that's what you're talking about or is there is it threads like as a piece of thread like connections or something I don't know but we got Franz Wagner the Orlando Magic the rookie though all right here we have a Chronicles. For Devin Booker? Sounds familiar. Next we have a Prestige. For Zaire Williams. It's a rookie. We have another Chronicles for Brandon Ingram. Next, we've got, this might be like a blue, maybe a parallel, maybe, I don't know, maybe not. This is from the, is that playbook, is that what this is? James Harden, I know him. Next, we have got an absolute... Rookie card for Jaden Springer. See, a lot of these basketball players, I, I would have to look up and see, like, you know, are they good? Are they, you know, I just, because I don't watch a lot of basketball. So, I don't watch a lot of sports, period, because I'm normally watching movies and stuff like that. Um, although I did watch, I did watch the last game of the Stanley Cup uh, final. Uh, that was pretty cool, especially the last, like the last minute and a half was pretty exciting. Um, I didn't really care who won, to be honest with you. I don't really follow hockey enough. Um, and then I did watch a little bit of the, uh, the 2024 NBA draft. So. All right, here we go. We got a rated rookie. For Trendon Watford. Next we've got a rookie. This is a, looks like a Luminance. For Herbert Jones. Next we've got another one of the, yeah, it's Playbook. For 
is that Ja Morant or J Morant or is it J.A. Morant? I don't know. I know the name. I just don't know how to pronounce it. Is it Ja like like Ja Rule? Ja Morant? Next we've got another rated rookie for Dwayne Washington Jr. I've heard of him. All right, next we've got like a refractor rookie from the XR for Josh Giddy. It's pretty sharp. Next we've got, I think this is from the Elite. Is that what it's called? Oh, no, Essentials. Chronicles Essentials. I had an E on it, so I thought it might be Elite. Rookie card for Jalen Green. I like that one. That's nice. I like how it's got it's got the color and the color one, and then it's got the like the black and white like action shot of him behind it. Next, we have got it looks like it's a Prism Honors. Rookie card for Scotty Barnes. And the last card in... Or wait, no. Last two cards. There's two cards. Up. These are both classics. We've got a rookie for Cade Cunningham. And a rookie for... Jonathan... Kuminga. So another thing I have to say for uh, you know besides liking the fact that you get like different, uh, you, you get a variety of cards in the Chronicles packs. You know you get different um, series of cards, um, which is really cool. But I also like most of the cards you get are in fact rookie cards. Uh, so. I mean, what's the complaint about it? Especially for what did I pay for this? Four bucks? Yeah, four bucks. It was like three ninety eight. So can't complain. All right. Well, that was that was it. That was it. That was the uh, two thousand twenty one twenty two Chronicles basketball. Drop a comment down below. What was your favorite card? What do you think is the maybe the most valuable card that I pulled out of that? Um, do you feel that I got my four dollars back? I think, you know, overall, I think you, you're guaranteed to get your $4 back. Um, especially when you just look at the amount of rookie cards that you get. You know, and the thing is, it's being, it's close enough. You know, it's not like you're pulling stuff from the, you know, the early 1980s, say. Where if you're pulling a lot of rookie cards, you'd be able to go on and immediately see, all right, well, yeah, you know, this guy's a rookie. How long did he play for? Was he any good? Blah, blah, blah. Is it, does it have any value? These being literally just like two years old, because it was the 20, yeah, 21 and 22 seasons. So you have the 22, 23 season, and now you have the 23 to 24 season. But so two years old, so most of those rookies, if they're playing, um, you know, the fact is, some of them, they might not be playing right now. They might be, uh, like, a second stringer or, you know, a warm on the bench uh, right now. Um, but that can change. If they're, if they're you know, still, and they're still on that team, obviously, if they haven't got traded to somebody else, that would probably hurt the value a little bit, um, I would think. But, you know, it's close enough to where these guys might, you know, three, four, Five years down the road, they might have a stellar season and put up massive numbers, and then all of a sudden, you know, everybody's clamoring to get their rookie cards. So that's the hope, right? All right, now well, that's it. Hey, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Again, make sure you check out my Macari, Poshmark, eBay, and whatnot. I don't, I don't have a lot of stuff on whatnot. I have a little bit. Uh, I don't have a lot of a lot of luck selling and whatnot. I don't have a lot of followers on whatnot. 
So when I do list stuff, I mean, it, it probably doesn't get a lot of looks on whatnot. And when I used to do live auctions, I didn't make any money because I, I barely had more than five or six people in my auction at a time. You know, you're not going to get bids and get, get stuff going for dollars if you've only got one or two people bidding on it. So I kind of stopped, got away from doing the live auctions. Um, but definitely check it out anyhow. Uh, go follow me on all of those platforms. And uh, hey, as always, look up yourself and everyone around you so we all have a much better chance of staying safe and healthy. Till the next time, I think next time, which I probably won't do tonight, I'll probably wait until... Over the weekend, I think we'll do the uh, we'll do the prestige football next, and then we'll come back and do the basketball again. All right, that's it. See ya.